Hello everybody and welcome to a very exciting Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. Today we are going to look at two species field guide, last week's Pyroraptor and this week's Quetzalcoatlus. And can I just say, the Quetzalcoatlus, we knew it would be big, but it is ginormous. But we're doing Pyroraptor first, so let me play the species field guide. The Pyroraptor is a colorful and dangerous predator. Striking its prey quickly with sickle-shaped claws, its vibrant, fire-red feathers may be the last thing you ever see. Okay, that was the Pyroraptor species field guide. Let's break it down now. So obviously we have this beautiful Dominion Biosyn expansion logo. There. I love this amber. Here, new species discovered feather dinosaur species. Then we get uh, a shot in the forest. Again, in my trailer breakdown, I talked about new foliage. Here's the new foliage with the pyroraptor. Is a colourful and... Okay, uh, go there, pyroraptor there. This is a log. Now, this could be a placeable log, which would be amazing. But I think it might be like a leafy climbers or ground leaf or something, like where you just get logs when you're putting down like the herbivores desired foliage. Next we've got a shot of the Pyroraptor jumping onto the goat and I think these are new rocks with a moss on them which is pretty cool. It's just waving its feathers like, it, it, it's just, like really cool. And here we get a close up of its face, you can see like the eye and the teeth and the feathers and it's just, it just looks so amazing man. Then here we just get a shot of it running. Then it goes closer, then it goes closer, then at the end here it does a wee roar. It just looks absolutely amazing though. And this, if I am seeing correctly, is a broken tree. Okay, okay, broken trees, placeable foliage, potentially, question mark. But yeah, that is the Pyroraptor species field game. Now let's get on to the big boy, the Quetzalcoatlus. Now guys, like I said, I the species field guide is just amazing. Let me play it. The Quetzalcoatlus is one of the largest flying reptiles of all time. The towering species lives up to the Aztec god that inspired its name. A gargantuan feathered reptile that dominates the skies. And there it is guys, that was just wow. So here, an amber new species discovered feathered flying reptile species. Then, we get we see the shot with the shadow of the Quetzalcoatlus flying. The Quetzalcoatlus. Then we see it there. It's so cool, man. Then it lands. Then it lands next to a Cerodactylus. I think it's the Cerodactylus. One of the largest. Look at how big it is compared to that wee thing. Oh my gosh, this Quetzalcoatlus is huge. This is what I said, it's absolutely huge. Like, look at that, look at that, look how tiny that is compared to that Quetzalcoatlus. Oh, but this though, we've got this Quetzalcoatlus here, like, uh, being annoyed at something, it's like, it's looking at something, maybe a social interaction, I don't know. But this one here, it's got, it's like, neck backwards and then its head's like resting on its body that I mean like that just looks so cool 
I cannot wait for the Quetzalcoatlus. It's probably one of my favourite species in the Dominion Biosyn expansion pack along with the Therizinosaurus. And I want to see Therizinosaurus animation so bad. Next we are met with a Quetzalcoatlus picking the swing or just cleaning the swing. A uh, Quetzalcoatlus eating from the feeder and then a uh, fine Quetzalcoatlus there. And then we just see the Quetzalcoatlus that's broken out. Uh, this is the Biosyn Sanctuary. This is an Avery, can't really see anything else. Wait, if that's the Biosyn Sanctuary, then we get to make or rescue a Quetzalcoatlus. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. In the new campaign, we get to make a Quetzalcoatlus. Then here we see it landing on a building. Can pterosaurs do that? Because I've never actually had a pterosaur escape before. Uh, I don't know if pterosaurs can land on buildings, but these, these are new buildings. I think that's an expedition centre. That's control centre. This a uh, power station maybe, and I think that's a backup generator. And then this is a pylon here, maybe substation. Then we just get a close up of its head, and that that just looks absolutely amazing. Remember guys, I will be making videos on the day that the Quetzalcoatlus comes out. I might not be doing the Quetzalcoatlus on June 14th, it might be June 15th or 16th, but I will be making videos on this DLC when it drops. So I hope to see you guys then, but for now, bye bye.